With us this morning is uh, a young lady who uh, always loved to have her aboard. She is uh, C.J. Huffman, who is the head of local Feed the Vets of York, and uh, has been doing some great work for a long time. And they have a uh, they have a, a dinner each year on Christmas, and wanted to get into you know what that's all about right now in the time of COVID. And uh, she's with us this morning. Good morning, C.J. How are you? Hi, Gary. I'm missing well, you. <laughs> well, yeah, it's always great to have you. And usually we have you in studio, but uh, we're not in studio. My studio now yeah. is looking out my back lawn. But yeah. uh, anyway, it's always good to have you on this morning. And you've got an event every year yes. Uh, yes. on Christmas where you feed the vets, but you also feed other people who are, you know, um, homeless or people who just, veterans who just want to come out and have dinner. And it's been a great event for the last bunch of years. This year it's going to be a little different, and I wanted to get you in this morning to talk a little bit yes. about that and where that's going to be held and when it's going to be held and how, most importantly, our listeners can maybe help. Yes, yes. it's a, We had to change some things up this year, Gary. Um, you know, it's heartbreaking because I'm going to miss seeing my vets, you know, coming in there and sitting down and having dinner right. with us and staying all day. So, But, you know, we want to do what we can for them. So we pulled together, and we're going to – we're working with a heartening hospice. Miss Diane Beck came to us, and uh, we're going to pull off a Feed the Vets Meals on Wheels this year where we're going to be delivering their meals, or they can come to the door and pick it up. Um, we have people that volunteer to drive and to deliver the meals, and um, we have a special number out there. That all they have to do is call the number and tell us how many meals they want and their address, and we're going to make sure that they get fed that day. <laughs> So um, it's it's been a lot of work, but uh, we're going to pull it off. We're going to pull it well, off. Let, so. let me let me let me put my name on the list as one of the people who'll be glad to deliver some meals for you. How's that? Oh, well, that's Can awesome. You, that's awesome. So you yes. you just let me know where I'm going and and give me the right directions, and I'll take off and uh, deliver exactly. some meals myself because we always like helping out on that day as well. Um, sure. Now, the September House is kind of your headquarters that day. Talk a little yes. bit about that and that partnership. Yes, yeah, so September House, we work with them every year now to pour dinner off. And, of course, now they can't come in and sit down. So uh, we're still going to be showing up at the September House in the morning, and we're going to be preparing all the food there. And then we'll have everybody there that will help us, uh, you know, get the food packed. And uh, they've also donated the little warming um uh, whatever you call them, the warming bags that you can carry the food okay. that will stay hot in and stuff. Right. And uh, So we're still working with the September house. It's just that, you know, this year we had to think of something that we could do to still make sure that people are fed. And it, it's not just for, you know, seniors and veterans. We do this for the public. You know, we don't want anybody alone on Christmas, but at least this year they can still get their Christmas dinner. And, um, you know, they'll... It's not the same as when they're there at the September house hanging out with us all day Christmas. But, you know, we had to do something. So we're going to try this Meals on Wheels, and I'm sure it's going to work. <laughs> and the one but nice constant to this that has not changed, it's still free, right? And yes, And exactly. people don't have to pay for these. I mean, this is something that you're nope. doing. It's just a good thing. Now, there's a new number to call to register uh, your meal. Uh, tell yes. people a little bit about that. Okay, we got a special number because last year we fed over 200 people, so um, we got a special number this year that they can call. Um, it's 717-434-2729, and it'll give them instructions, you know, what to say, like their name, their address, and how many mm -hmm. dinners they want, and then we'll, you know, keep tabs. So that way it kind of lets us know how many things we need to um, make because we're going to change our dinner around this year, too, a little bit, so, it, you know, it works out. A lot better. We're still going to give them a full course meal, Gary. The same thing: the dessert, the drink, everything. So, but well, I'm um, looking at the meal here: baked ham, baked chicken stuffing, baked potato, gravy, corn, green beans, applesauce, the drink, and and a dessert, of course. By the way, today is National Dessert Day. I thought I'd mention that. But anyway, um, <laughs> we're talking with C.J. Huffman, head of local Feed the Vets, and this is a meal that's going to be served. You can get carry out, or you can have it delivered. But the deadline to get your name in there for this is December 14th, as I understand it right now, to register, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hard to believe yes. this is the 10th year of doing this, uh, CJ. I know. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that long ago you started it. Yep, yep, it does. And, and every year, actually, we wanted something special this year, you know, because of being our 10th year or so. But we we kept trying to think, what are we going to do? Because, you know, we don't want to not do anything. So 
I was sitting here thinking one day, I thought, I don't know, why don't we do a Meals on Wheels thing? So mm-hmm. I was surprised everybody came together. Like I said, the Heartland Hospice uh, contacted me, and we're working with Miss Diane Beck, who's helping us get uh, some hams donated and stuff. Again, mm-hmm. you know, we're asking anybody that wants to donate hams, and we're still waiting. Um, we're still needing corn and green beans and applesauce in the big cans yet, so... Um, you know, and even Gary, uh, if they forget this number or lose this number, they can still call the old number because I have it on there, the new number. So they'll still be able to reach us. Right. So, okay. you know, it, is that the seven one seven seven eight one seven six 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 number? Yeah. Yes, that's a number we've had for years. But you know, Good. because of so many people, if we get that many calling us this year, we decide to pull a different number sure. there, and and it'll just be you know for them to register what kind of you know whether they want delivery or pickup or right. so we're still hoping that we can feed the same amount of people we do every year but and again just reminding listen. people of that new number uh 717-434-2729 that's 717-434-2729 and if you're hearing this interview right now uh maybe you you know a relative or you just know a friend or someone in your neighborhood that's going to be by themselves for christmas and you're thinking what could i do that would be nice what would be a nice little christmas gift how about a free dinner when, when you're not exactly. sure if they're maybe getting a great dinner that day. And you also, uh, by the way, have a, uh, a place where donations can be made. And, again, you can uh, make the donations of uh, corn, green beans, uh, those kind of things, big cans of them, uh, to um, feed the vets and tell people what the address is there, CJ. Yes, um, our Feed the Vets address is P.O. Box 413, Dallas Town, Pennsylvania, 17313. And or if they want, you know, donate food or anything, they can call the number and, and contact me and we'll set up arrangements to meet with them and pick it up. Uh, like I said, we are working with, uh, I'm so tickled with the Heartland Hospice this year who contacted us. And, and like I said, we're working with Diane Beck and she's uh, working on getting us some hams too. So um, I'm kind of excited. I think it'll be pretty nice and uh We'll still get people fed. We're just going to miss them because, you know, we get the stories every year, Gary, and oh, the yeah. Korean vets yeah. and all of them, and we just won't get them this year. But at least they know we're still thinking about them, and they're going to volunteer, and uh, we're going to get it out there. The 2nd Brigade Motorcycle Club, uh, they're with us every year, and they help us cook the food and dish it out and yeah. get it out to where it's going. So, but A lot of great volunteers and uh you know, again, put me down for uh, for being one. It's going to deliver some of the meals that day. I'll be glad to help you out, and uh, always awesome. look forward to to uh, helping people during that day. I think a, a lot of us. But again, uh, if you if you know somebody, you're thinking about somebody right now, and you're thinking, what what could I do for them this year? How about a free dinner? Maybe a nice card. Uh, maybe a nice, just a nice thought. I mean, the, the thought of, uh, of of having a free dinner on that day when so, when so many people this year have been alone a lot in hospitals oh, and other yeah. places like that. The number is 717-434-2729. You can call that number. They'll give you instructions as to how to sign up. Also, uh, Feed the Vets, Post Office Box 413, Dallastown, Pennsylvania, 17313. CJ, appreciate what you're doing, uh, helping people on that day, especially Christmas Day. Uh, and uh, keep up the great work and, and wish you very, very best uh, of all the holidays and we'll look forward to seeing you on christmas day Thank okay you. yep we're excited gary and don't be afraid to call us like i said we have lots of single people out there that are going to be home with oh, their yeah. kids or whatever please call us because we're here for you 717-434-2729 or feed the vets